Hey everybody, it's Rick O'Shea playing Marvel Puzzle Quest. Thanks for jumping on again. This is going to be a fun one. We are taking in the introducing event with the brand new four star character, Elsa Bloodstone. She's got some cool abilities. I think it's going to be a lot of fun to play through and learn how her strategy can work and team up with some other characters in her special release event. Let's jump right into the action. We've only got five battles to go through. We'll talk about her ability set, how to play her with uh, other characters on the, uh, how to play her with other characters on your squad. And let's jump right into it. This first battle is a solo with the brand new Elsa. And we are going to take on three of the mindless ones. They're, uh, basically decent health and they have strong enough special tiles let's put on our animations here and see if we can win so she doesn't have any team damage abilities but we'll feature i like to take on this guy here first he's the one the savage is the one that creates the attack tiles i think getting rid of the attack tiles is probably your primary focus when we get it out that way strike tiles are obviously concerning but they're, they don't hurt you at all unless there's some other damage happening in the board like their uh, green team damage ability you really don't want them to get that so there's a green match here but there's no reason to do it and uh, if they make a green countdown there's a chance it could line up in that match three so you might as well save that for a later point in the match but Elsa's got some uh, cool abilities red blue and purple they are all active abilities but none of them are very expensive nine is the most expensive uh, ap cost ability that she has red is cool it does a little bit better if the enemies can go invisible or airborne but it does do target damage her blue is great let's check out her purple first this one uh t-break changes green tiles into black trap tiles so it can do two things. It puts the trap tiles on the board, but of course it changes their color. So you could get automatic black matches for your team, which is nice if your team has a black ability that saves up AP for them. But then also, her um, if, if there is a lot of black tiles on the board, she converts them to yellow. So that can also be helpful for one of your teammates. Or that's where her blue power comes in. It destroys a... Uh, uh, basically a nine tile block and if there are yellow tiles in that block you get extra damage and don't forget you can destroy a block on purpose of your trap tiles and uh, they do damage if they are matched or destroyed by either team I think that's a great way for trap tiles to work so we're looking for red blue and purple right now this board isn't too ideal for that setup let's see what we can do here countdown just went off and it strengthened the strike tile here we need to watch that a little bit no big deal though let's also go for blue here and maybe that strike tile will be strengthened again since we have it guaranteed to be mashed away all right we'll just take it now and now we need to start thinking about how can we get more purple. I'd like to fire off your purple before you fire off blue. And it looks like we're going to take a hit from one of the countdowns. I-beam is team damage, but it does do quite a bit of damage at 2,013. We're going to take a couple of those in a row here. We do have blue ready to play and I just don't see a way to get more purple. So should we take this moment? Maybe we should here. Let's go ahead and we're going to play Top Darling. Might as well pick something like this spot here because it's going to destroy that block of tiles. It'll destroy a bunch of their countdowns and then we get extra damage for the yellow tiles within that block. It also destroys an extra tile or two depending on the setting for that ability not bad at all took out that mindless one now we could work on the other two here all 
a red damage will be pretty good. I just can't find a way to get a purple match. And every time their countdowns resolve off the board, that's taking a lot of purple away from the board. If we go for all blue, we'll be able to win that way. Let's see, what do we want to do here? Probably... Might as well do this. Lines up the green match with those countdowns in it. We're up to eight red now. So, let's see here. Which guy is... This guy has so many countdowns on the board. Let's go ahead and play Bloodstone Gym. 2,800 damage. Not bad. We'll try to work him out. Did you see that the black tiles on the board automatically converted to yellow? That was pretty cool. We might want to just leave black tiles on the board, see what we get out of it. And now we're finally ready to play tea break converting green into black trap tiles. Now I think what I want to do though, before we convert any green, is this match drops a match four in green, takes out a bunch of, it, of their countdowns. Okay. Now we need to hurry before all the blacks turn into yellow. Interesting. <laughs> nice animation. I don't remember that from before. Okay, now we can get lined up so there's three traps available to be destroyed, to destroy it at, uh, at once. Finally get that guy out. Get another blue match lined up. Extra move. Finally the board goes our way. And now we can play this ability to... Um, Destroy a trap tile, an enemy countdown, and a yellow tile for extra damage. There we go. Finally get the win. Okay, I think the strategy makes sense. Let's see if we can do a much more efficient job next time. And I think that'll work if we get more purple first and then blue. I think red will just be uh, kind of get it as you go, not the priority at all. And so, all right, so we can pl pick a couple of... Looks like we can play anyone along with Elsa in this case. And who do you think we should go for? Let's go down to some four-star characters here. And I suppose we'll pick a couple other potentially Halloween-themed characters or something like that. Might be kind of fun. We'll go with Moon Knight and maybe we'll go with... Uh, let's see. Yeah, Blade's actually fine. Let's do this and then we'll get Moon Knight over there. All right, this should be a little bit easier. Now we know what to do. Let's focus on purple and then blue if we can do it in that order. And red whenever it just happens to work out. If we leave black on the board, it'll convert over to yellow. Blade has a good green ability for team damage. Also, when there are a lot of red tiles on the board, he will create strike tiles, and they're very strong. My blade is a maximum champion too, by the way, so that'll help a lot, of course. But I also really just want to accumulate red for blade because his bloodlust ability is just absolutely awesome. We're gonna we're gonna end up with a lot of strike tiles here, I think. A lot of reds that we can't even match on the board working in our favor to build up strike tiles quite a bit. And if we're going to get a few extra free matches from converting blacks to yellow, that might be kind of cool. And I talked about Blades green ability, but in this team, I think you'd really benefit from a different green ability. If you don't know much about Moon Knight, his green ability is pretty much one of the hardest hitting four star character abilities in the game. It does cost 12, but if you play this 
it hits a random enemy when there's one enemy remaining like we have right now it will hit that enemy for sure and let's see if we can get a green match before it's too late um i don't see it a lot of blue look at those strike tiles dealing damage a nice cascade and we take modok out and here we are against devil dino very interesting set where there are two individual enemies in different waves and let's see we do have our blue ready to play i think we can do this in a cool way let's try this here let's destroy this area of the board there's a lot of green that will cascade downward depending on where the random tile is that worked out perfect it set up an extra move with a few extra matches all that damage let's go ahead with moon silver blades for the victory hey that was a cool setup i like it those other allies might have been a little overpowered for what we're doing here and uh, in the next fight we'll try to feature elsa's abilities pretty much only this one's called fearless one wave only level 80 characters okay and this is the one where we have to play elsa along with misty knight that'll be just fine one wave of five enemies all right so i usually would like to take out the shinobis first and leave the uh tai satsus for as long as i can because they create pretty strong attack tiles once you do eliminate them there's a couple of different ways to get red i think what we want though is to start on blue and purple i don't see any other purple so we might as well take that definitely a good drop all right green drops a match for and red is that what we want i think it's fine running really good on red Okay, so I think purple would be really good here. I know there's an extra move in green. I think we're going to have to take it right here. Misty Knight does have a very hard-hitting green. We have almost all of our abilities, but once again, we're just short on our purple. Let's see. I think let's go over. Yeah, let's keep it on this guy. Another extra move. And... Just no way to get any real purple. We'll line it up with a critical tile match. All right, we'll take this guy out. We're on the final three enemies. We're all set up, let's do this. Now we got a lucky drop on purple. Cool. All right, so there are green tiles next to the black ones over there. Let's see what we get when we play tea break. Traps all over the place, and now we just need one blue AP. We can uh, line it up here. see another way to get a really cool extra move we'll see if it works out that way for us and here we go oh man if that tile wouldn't have changed colors we would have gotten an extra move on this lineup but this is fine let's see here we're gonna play our blue we're gonna pick this spot right here which destroys that nine block of tiles it drops a black down we're not going to get the extra move, but we'll have a match four lineup with a bunch of trap tiles. Okay, so we got a random tile that was destroyed, took out all the traps. That actually worked out just fine. Let's go over to this guy, hit him with Bloodstone Gem. Big time damage, back over here. Nice, okay. Might as well play Misty's ability just for fun. 
Match four in green will probably do the win. We might as well knock this guy out with the bionic beatdown. And get the victory with a trap tile for damage. Okay, I think we're really getting pretty good with Elsa here. Let's see how we can do. Maybe we'll be a little bit more efficient in the last two battles. Taking on might be a mirror match in this case. Oh, we get to use Nico. And once again, okay, we could bring anybody we want here along with Nico into the battle. So let's do this. Let's filter down to four stars and we'll pick blue, red, and purple. Here's all the blue, red, and purple four star characters. We'll stick with Elsa once again. And I haven't raised my uh, character level for her at all yet. Got a few more covers to add in. We'll do a lot more tokens in the next uh, video after this one. Okay. I think if we get way ahead on red, that will be the key to victory here. Unless she gets lucky with a lot of blue against us. Okay. Okay. I'm a big fan of Nico. I think her abilities are quite good. Match that away. We'll keep her up front. Every time she takes damage, she'll place that Blood is Shed countdown, and then that makes the, her other abilities a little bit better than what they are to start with. So Nico has yellow ready to play. I think what we'll do, we can go ahead and play it now. Protectiles plus true healing should move this over so we can see what we've got here. Okay, so is now a good time to play the Bloodstone Gem? Um, thousand plus damage to the target. I don't think there's any real reason to wait. If she had any friends that would go invisible or airborne, of course you want to save that for a perfect timing. Nico's going to strengthen our protectiles every turn when every single turn that we have more of a special tile than the enemy does, they will be strengthened. Um, there's a red match, but I'm going to go for the blue. Pick up a little more blue and purple on the line break there. Okay, she has her blue against us. We'll let Nico take the hit. Oh, look at that. We have a bunch of blue up at the top. And what can we do to get purple? I just had the worst luck with that one color this whole event. 1,400 health remaining. Let's just do it. We'll play this in a spot that might be cool when the tiles settle. All right, nothing big there, but here is a basically a, a triple match, yellow, purple, blue, for the win. Okay, that went all right. Let's do even better on the last match and wrap up the introducing event for Elsa Bloodstone. Looks kind of cool. I like her characters, or I like her abilities for this character. Now we're against a boss version. Of Doctor Strange level 350 he cannot be stunned in this case let's go it is uh, gonna feature and let's see yep feature a champion level almost well level 200 but uh, all 13 covers for her uh, ability levels that's gonna work out great so we can pick a couple of characters to play along the game is suggesting blade and iron fist so let's do this. Let's pick my um, blade that's not a champion. What do we want here? Level 370 is my full health character. 100 and level 70. So we'll play level 100 and my champion Iron Fist. 16,000 health. This is going to be tough. Gonna really have to feature blue quite a bit. 
Now keep in mind, every time we play in a, an active ability against Doctor Strange, he's going to hit us back with a shot from his uh, yellow passive, and it can do quite a bit of damage. So maybe we'll save up our abilities to play them all, just about all in one turn. Extra move in red, and I, um, I hate to lose our attack tile at the bottom, but Iron Fist will put it back. So we'll do the match this way. We get red and purple. The critical tile hits those blues for over a thousand damage. Really lucky Cascade. Can you believe there's another extra move and it's red? We'll do that one. Wow. I think this is going to be great. We have our purple now qualified. Shouldn't really leave a critical tile for the enemy to match against you. But we're going to end this right here. We're going to go ahead and play T-Break. Got an automatic match for a ton of damage, and we won already on that ability. Thought we were going to have to play the blue for the win, and we are done with the introducing event. Let me know what you guys think of Elsa Bloodstone as a four-star character in the comments down below. I think she looks pretty fun and interesting, and... Um, you know, we have over 100 four-star characters in the game. It's probably not easy to create someone that's got a, a, a unique ability set or bring something different to the game. But I think she's pretty cool. Thanks a bunch. There should be a video pr uh, presented down below or a playlist. Carry on there, and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks, guys.